years old? Something like that? You think two? You're eating. Yeah. Oh, I don't think three. Not quite three, but yeah. And this is, you know, kind of, I came into this world kind of like, wow. Sort of cool. And then, somewhere around this age, <laughs> a big event happened in my life. And that big event was that my parents divorced. Now, anybody who understands psychology knows that as a child, when, when something happens in our world, it's our fault. We did it, we caused it, there's some reason that it's our fault. My father didn't leave my mother, my father left me, right? And so, a key piece of programming that got laid down at that age inside my body was, what's wrong with me? So you might start make, you know, making the connection, right? So now inside of me, there's a subconscious program going, what's wrong with me? Why did he leave me? Okay? So when I got to about age 17, I developed my first health challenge. I started getting repeated bladder infections. And I, the men are in the room, but this, you know, I'm going to talk about a few things that are a little intimate. But at the time, I was using a diaphragm. And they didn't know that diaphragms predisposed you to get bladder infections. So my doctor just kept giving me antibiotics. And I just kept getting bladder infections. She was giving me antibiotics. It got to the point that she wanted to give me an antibiotic a, ye a day for a year, at which point I refused. Why? I have no idea. Something inside me said, yeah, no. But after that, I made a little trip down to Mexico, picked up some nice friendly bugs, little turistas. I came back and I developed what what is known as well they call irritable bowel. Irritable bowel is sort of a diagnosis that says we don't know what's wrong with you, but we know you're upset, so we're going to call it irritable bowel. But this was you got to realize this was in 1982, 83. There was not the internet, so I went to my one doctor. She goes, I don't know what's going on. Here, you know, let's do a stool sample. So I, I go marching down to the hospital with my stool sample. I know I was 17 years old because I go to the hospital with my stool sample to turn it in, and the, they look at me and they say, I'm sorry, you're underage. We can't accept this. Okay. Really? <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> I had to go home, get my dad, bring him back. So, so this, at this age, I'm modeling already, and I've already um, been living in New York and been living in Paris. So I'm, I'm, I don't have the normal, like, parental go with me. You know, deal going on. My trip to Mexico, I, I took my boyfriend there for his birthday. So it, I, the, the stories are a little bit different than the average 17 year old. But um, so then she sent, that doctor came back normal, samples, everything fine. She sent me to a gastroenterologist, took a couple looks, and said, irritable bowel. And then he gave me a few pieces of information. It's due to stress, it won't give you cancer. There's nothing you can do for it. Don't eat fiber. Oh, oh. What a smart guy. <laughs> so some of you are making that, uh, 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 because you know that that's like the worst recommendation in the world. But I'm 17. I don't, there's not internet. I can't go, there aren't even books on the subject, really. I mean, maybe if I like went to UCLA, I could have found something, but there's not really information out there. So I went home, and I'm a good girl. So being a good girl, I started to follow my doctor's advice. So, oh my God. we're starting to look at my picture. These are, these are my picture. These are my choices, right? So the repeated antibiotics, antibiotics, then combined with my doctor's advice, no fiber, right? So when you take fiber out of your diet, what are you taking out of your diet? You're taking out whole grains. You're taking out raw vegetables. You're taking out lightly cooked vegetables. <laughs> Right? Everything but meat or eggs. Right. Well, then I decided to, this is one of those choice moments, that, you know, because of constipation, I heard, you know, meat sitting in there wasn't very good for you, right? So I decided to become a vegetarian. Oh, well, if you're a vegetarian that doesn't eat vegetables, <laughs> oh, what, what, what are you? I call me, a, it, it's basically a carbitarian, right? Uh -huh. I lived on pasta. I loved um, 
uh, oh, what's the bakery? Sourdough, white sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? I did do a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I do remember that. So now, you combine all of this with what's wrong with me, and the doctor said to me, hey, there's something wrong with you? you know, I mean, the, the doctor saying to me, you just have to live with this? It makes sense, right? Because, of course, because there's just something wrong with me. So I just have to live with it. And so that's what I did. I literally just went about my life living with it.